Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Please like and subscribe, it really helps the channel a great amount and I very much appreciate it. Now on that opening clip there, who got that correct? 50-50, one doing the right thing and correct thing and the other person and not doing that at all. I mean, if you're gonna be dishing it out on the road to motorists, you've really got to be doing the correct thing yourself, haven't you? Anyway. Okay, in this clip here, it's a very simple one. If someone's gonna cross the face of you to turn into a road like this white van, if they're making you slow down or brake, they shouldn't be doing it. That was a lot closer than what it appeared. Anyway, next clip. Okay, what we're looking at here is the gentleman on the bike. Yes, yet another bike rider again doing the incorrect thing. It's getting all too common, isn't it? As we're approaching a Pelican crossing, pedestrian crossing coming up ahead, uh, it changes to red he has absolutely plenty of time but what's more important people are crossing of which he's not really too interested in as he gets closer and closer he just goes through anyway irrespective red or pedestrians and that is just simply just very poor okay there's a simple little clip lorry coming out at a roundabout on the left should give way to the right were we close enough ah, uh, i'll let you decide that uh, this is more about my pupil approaching a little quicker than I would have liked it around about. You never know when people may pinch. Um, this doesn't look as bad on camera as it actually was when we dealt with it. There's the lorry and we seem to go in at about the same time. Should he have stopped for us? He slowed us down a wee bit. Uh, it's contentious but I think it was okay. Okay I was talking to my pupil here about impatience. This white van on the right I pointed out the fact that while we were waiting for the lights to change, they were a little rolling back and forth, so definitely on the biting point. So when we actually moved off, I did say to my pupil, I said, just hang back. I said, let that van go. I said, he's probably going to get away quite quick anyway. They're the lights, they're going to change. And so we hang back a little bit. And not only that, we're faced with a traffic light in front of us, so we do have to pinch to the left. We let them go, and then lo and behold, what does the van do? He turns right. Um, Again, sometimes a little bit of patience and awareness and you can avoid the simplest of things, really. Okay, this clip here is in Morden. Two lanes going into one. We're looking at this black here initially. Why didn't he get over to the right lane a bit earlier? No, he's too patient. Too special. And the Audi even tries it himself, as you'll see shortly. We'll come back to the front view in a minute. Um, but let's look at this Audi. Trying to get over? No, it's not trying at all planning absolutely poor now it sees the bus lane and says oh my god now the indicator comes on yeah too little too late there wasn't it could have planned a lot earlier for that let's have a look at the front view now here we go you can see it going down in two lanes you'll see this Kia flying past on that side what's wrong in going in that gap there if they had to get past the learning cup ooh no we've got to go past the car even in front of that and go flying past and we're doing 30 so he was certainly doing a lot more very poor okay on this clip here we're looking at this vw behind us who as you can see is quite close look as he goes through this traffic calm and measure i mean he can't even drive his car right he pinches right over close to the curb because he thinks he's going to hit the one on the left there couldn't even keep it central so you know this car is already concerning about his ability to drive but he gets up close to us and we're slowing down for what you'll see in the front camera he tried to pass there and then he goes for it here and actually so does the bike but the bike changes his mind now what we're going to do is have a look at the front camera and you can kind of see what went on now, the car in question was this silver one on the left hand side here this is what we were waiting for now on that angle you can see he won't see that black car let's just have a look at the front so as we go down this these two cars on the left this one here and the silver BMW a little bit further ahead now just at this point here we can see that car looking to come around not sure he's going to go for it or not so we're slowing down going a bit defensive see he's going to move for it and then this plonker does this goes around us now that car can't see him there he can see us but not him so lucky he doesn't go for it because this car completely flies out in front of him so thankfully the silver car he holds track at that point got not much time for people like that at all 
So we go to Creeper Cross because we can see he's not moving. We thank him and then we carry on. But honestly, sometimes I wonder where people get their driving licenses from. That was pretty damn awful. Okay, this is a nice clip. This car coming up on the left-hand side. Any ideas? Have a nice close look. Certainly stands out in the crowd, doesn't it? It's going to just freeze it here so you can have a shifty as it comes past. What do you reckon? Yeah, it's nice. Nice sight. It certainly stands out. Nice colour as well. But um, only good for the good weather, I think. If, it's, if it was raining, um, I'm not entirely sure I'd want to be out in that car. But hey, what the hell? Give it a go. Anyway, sometimes they have a nice, uh, a nice clipping on it, but something other than poor driving. Okay, on this clip here, it's uh, people um, that we're looking at. You never know what you're going to come across when you're driving on the road. The only thankful here, I can say, is that the road is devoid of cars. It's one of the reasons we're here, actually. But as we're going up the road, you can see a couple of OAPs here deciding they don't want to use in the path, and the path is quite decent. There's nothing wrong with it, but they decide they want to use the road. Um, I'm a little bit a myth here. I'm not sure what's going on, but anyway, give them nice wide berth and then um, pull in in a nice safe time behind them. They just seem to want to use the road. The road looks worse than the uh, path as it goes. Anyway, you never know what you're going to find. Okay, on this clip here, we're looking at the car directly behind us and a van a little bit further back both in our lane in the one-way system in Kingston. Now this vehicle here, as he comes round the bend, and that vehicle as well, um, do something a little bit on the silly side. Now first of all the car, don't know what he's thinking here, where the hell is he going? He's in two lanes there, can't make his mind up, he's not indicating, he just literally wanders in that lane. There's the van, he's in our lane at the moment. Now he pulls out from our lane, goes into the left lane, so in other words, maybe he's just changing direction. What do you reckon? Nah. He sees a learner car up front and I will just leave the queue, push in front of the learner because I'm an arrogant twat. And we have to be so careful with people like this when we're driving on the road. We've got to be wary. Yes, and talking about being wary, you have this individual behind us on this rubbish collection vehicle keep him very very close to us we're coming up to mini roundabouts and he gets very very close to the back of our car i mean that's awfully close he's not paying much attention to what he's doing the only thing that's on his mind is how quick can i get past this learner car even though we're not holding him up we're making reasonable progress and we're keeping up with the speed. Now we're passing some cars now, so we're being a little bit cautious. Look at his position. He had absolutely no intention of staying behind. Uh, thankfully, the road was clear up front. Another day, another time, and people do this and it isn't clear. So we have to be very, very wary of silly drivers like this on the road. Um, we shouldn't have to. We should have the right to drive without people overtaking us at every physical opportunity that they find just because they think a learner car is going to be holding them up. We're more often than not. They're not really. They're just keeping to the speed limits. And people like him are not. And as we get further up, really, where has that got him? As we move up to some traffic lights here, really nowhere at all. So he didn't gain anything out of that, did he? Okay, on this clip here, it's pretty simple for most qualified drivers. We're coming up to T-Junction, we want to turn right, but we notice this van, uh, this Mercedes van coming up from behind. And they get really, really close, which seems to be par for the course these days. Um, but what do we have here? Oh, it's one after professional drivers. So we know what to expect here, don't we? Not courtesy and pleasantness, just something that's going to scare the learner somewhat more. We pinch a bit, what do they do? They just keep close even closer so we've got to make sure we don't roll back at all this is almost a learner's nightmare when they're having to deal with these things what you're so what you're going to do is we're going to have a look at the front so you know what's going on behind the back and by the way just before we move off um what's this here pedestrian junction new rules are we bothered nah let's just carry on going and let's pull in the road and be on our way so i think it's going to take long a long time before that actually sinks in that particular rule with most people now here's the front view you've seen what's going on in the back view here's the front view it's a busy road um in putney 
and we're coming up to this T-junction and my pupil, I'm trying to coax them forward a little bit more. But the thing is this silver car and the black car just literally block, so we can't actually get out anyway. Now the black car picks up on this and decides to help us out a wee bit and creates a gap which learners absolutely hate and are terrified of. They don't know should they, shan't they? And they gently pinch forward, take the bit by the teeth, checking it's clear to the left, be on the way. But this doesn't half make them nervous and it's not helped by people crouching you from behind. Okay, this is a bit of planning for the learner actually, more than anything that goes wrong. It's just where they have to pay attention. Now there's a lorry parked on the left hand side as we're coming up to it but there's a silver car on the side turning which you'll see just coming up going to be reversing out actually uh there it is on the right hand side so do we think we can go around we're thinking no they've gone right into the road so we're going to have to slow down can we go now no we're not sure there's a car coming the other way so my pupil stance decides to keep way back now we're thinking is that silver car going to let us go um, as a matter of courtesy well the answer is no they do say thank you as they pass um, it's something we come across quite often not too bothered about but it's a good teaching for the learner that sometimes you just have to have a bit of patience and wait before you can move on okay guys thank you very much for watching i very much appreciate it please like and subscribe and i will see you on the next video take care for now Bye bye